but I'm still out here boasting. I'm focused, I block out commotion. Uh, all of y'all salty like you drawn the ocean. To Emmys, your only devotion. Uh, watching this shit, they your favorite and like it to know more about y'all emotions. Uh, use it. What is up my fellow Endos Flames, you here and I am back. This is a re-upload of my iSAN tutorial that I did previously. I had previously uh, done iSAN and it was for the V2, but the PDF and the documentation and the information that I was giving out was inaccurate and so due to that I'm re-uploading this with more recent information I'll be putting the fresh link to the new PDF for iSAN v2 in the description box down below for you guys to grab and read to set up I won't go too much into it uh, there is some extra stuff that I will show you for this you will need a signal receiver at least one you can run it as quad but it is recommended that you understand mono isan before you try isan quad uh, so you'll need the signal receiver put on the hard point you'll need a yolo chip socket and you can use a basic yolo chip but if you want it to display your speed which isn't entirely accurate but still enough um St still a nice feature to have uh, is the speed display then you will need an advanced YOLO chip for speed display but if you don't want to do any of that that's totally fine you can use a basic YOLO chip and it will work just fine also if you want to enable any iSAN modules or add-ons that they come up with you will need a memory chip and you will need to set it to XX, YY, and ZZ and 16, 17, and 18 lines on the code you will need to prefix with a colon um, you're also going to need a text panel put on and connected to the network as well for this I'm going to be using the advanced chip uh, YOLO chip because I happen to really like the speed feature so we've got our signal receiver I've bolted it down already the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna open up your sig your utility tool and you see here that there are these name fields now AT and A will be different so the second name field of the signal receiver you'll want to change to A and the fourth name field you'll want to change to AT and the listen angle value you'll want to have set to 180 once you have done that the receiver is set so then you come in here and you go to your YOLO chip all right and you'll see that right here we have empty lines of code so what we want to do is we want to put in the code so I'm gonna show you a few segments of the PDF here right now so if you look here this is the code that you will be wanting to copy one line at a time and they're all numbered and you want to make sure you very carefully go over it and do one line at a time copying multiple lines is a couple is a couple mistakes that have been made and it's very common so make sure that you're very careful when doing it the optional features you can edit line one to prediction option to improve your linear linear accuracy on iSAN mono and prediction only works on mono quad will still outperform the mono speed option set if you set that to zero so you can see they're both one here meaning disabled if you set them to zero it'll enable the speed approximation if you're using mono enable the the prediction as well so the other thing is and it, and it tells you how to set everything up perfectly um this here you want to change you don't want to change panel values value to underscore you want to change panel values name to underscore um but this is the the signal strength and the target message that you'll change to a and at and it should look like this picture down here when you're done so a at listen angle 180 um this right here shows you how the coordinates are interpreted positive y means you're moving towards the top of the belt negative y means you're moving towards the bottom of the belt in reference point to the origin stations the white dot in the center will represent zero 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 so ideally if you wanted to stay dead smack center of the asteroid belt and go out you would want positive z 
and then you would want zero y zero x that's going to be difficult to achieve so you don't really have to worry about that you know just as long as your z is increasing greatly and your y and your x are negative and close to zero ish then you should be all right so that's how you interpret that and again i'll put i'll leave the link for this in the description below and it shows you how you can understand the chart and things like that so what we're going to do is continue with the setup so i'm going to copy over the data fields so i'm going to take line one copy it and i'm gonna put it here and i'm gonna change po to zero and I'm gonna change SO to zero because I want speed enabled. Um, when you make changes to the PO and the SO, you'll have to reboot ISAN twice in order to display the changes that you've made. If you reboot ISAN just once, it'll enter streamer mode by default. So if you're streaming, it'll hide your coordinates so people can't stream snipe you, come find you if you're not in the safe zone and kill you, which would be absolutely no fun. So I'm gonna copy the lines like this and then i'm going to finish doing this and then i'll come back as soon as i'm finished okay guys when you're finished it should look something like this and your lines should all be totally different so just make sure that you double check that the lines are are copied correctly one at a time take your time so that way you don't make any mistakes once you're done you can just go ahead and lock up the tablet like so and then you come over to your text panel your text panel should already start displaying stuff you'll see the s there for the speed at the bottom all right i'm going to show you now that it, what uh happens so to reboot oops i hit the wrong key there there we go so to reboot isan all you have to do is delete the field and hit enter and when you do the first reboot it puts it in streamer mode every single time it'll default to that and then if you want to come out of streamer mode you just control a delete everything again press enter it'll reboot your isan it'll and then it'll come back live anytime you make changes make sure that you always reboot your isan at the text panel so now that we have done that and we've got it all set up we've got the receiver so i'm going to go over it again briefly so you want to go to your receiver you want your message to stay the same you want the next text field to be a you want listen angle and you want that value set to 180 you want at to be the next name field and then everything else you just leave it as it is after you get it connected on your hard point then you come in you copy your code onto the yolo panel make sure that the text is or that the uh script is playing out lock your panel up and then you come over to your text panel you use your U utility tool make sure that the name field on the text panel is is um underscore and once you have that as underscore anytime you want to reboot isan you just delete this Hit enter, the first delete will put it in streamer mode, and then the second time you do it, it'll bring it back up and completely reboot the ISAN for you. Now, as I'm using the advanced chip, I'm gonna get in here real quick and just kind of show you. As I speed up, the speed shows up over top. It seems that I have like a weird little visual bug here. Like the button that was there is displaying over top of it i think that might have to do with the blueprint there so let me just make sure that that's out huh maybe my text panel is acting weird and i have some visual glitch but you can see it's trying to display my speed right there and you should see the X Y and Z numbers changing they are not for me so I'm going to show you some troubleshooting to figure out why it could be that that's happening so the first thing that I'd suggest doing 
is opening up your tool and of course rebooting ISAN. So we see now that for some reason that hasn't done anything. And that is because it appears that my YOLO chip socket has not stayed connected. This is very unfortunate. So that is why I had that error. As you can see, the, the chip socket stopped functioning. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... And I won't make you guys sit there and watch me redo the code. So I'm going to just go ahead and use the basic ISAN or the basic YOLO chip that I had installed, um, which should still have the ISAN running on it. Make sure it's snapped in. I have the code uh, put on here already preemptively. So if I come over here, you will see that it's in streamer mode right now right because of, because i booted it up fresh it's counting as a reboot so utility tool delete all hit enter it'll boot up your isan and now you're good to go you see the numbers are actively changing and as you get in to fly around or you move around your numbers will change I hope this guide has been helpful for you. You guys can follow the PDF in tutorial that will be linked down in the description below and it'll give you every detail that you need. So make sure that you're very careful when you're putting stuff down. Make sure that when you move, you don't lose chips because apparently that happened to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below to let me know that it helped you out. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I lost another chip. I don't even know what that chip did. Oh boy. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.